so i will see that i have uh, so our we are designing a state graph for the input sequence 0101 and 1001 i have taken the sample input and sample output this sample input shows the two required sequence where we get a non zero output at fourth bit at 0101 and 1001 i am taken to random sample where the non zero output does not come because the sequence does not complete as i told we have to make a partial state graph for the given two sequence and later we will complete the graph so this is a good way to start of the construction of partial state graph so let me start with my first sequence which is i will take it as 1001 so what i am telling at s not when it goes to it possibility is s1 and s2 so what i am saying is if a zero comes it goes to s1 if a one comes it goes to s2 and you can see that one uh, sequence is starting from zero and another sequence is starting from one for which i want a non zero output at fourth bit so i can start like this okay so let me start with 1001 only so s0 to s2 it is going when your input is one next what i want next i want a zero so i will imagine that from s2 it is going to s3 when a zero comes so that means what your second bit is done this is your first bit here second bit done now the third bit for third bit i will make one more state because there is no possibility of uh, okay one more thing you should remember in the guidelines of the state graph that it, you have to see that each time we add an arrow to the state graph we should determine that whether it is possible to go to any previously defined states or not and if it is not possible to go to any previously defined state then only your new state should be added so you can see i need a four bit i need a four bit uh, sequence so it has to go at least to uh, three travel it has to do that means 1 0 0 and for the fourth travel it can go back to initial state so uh, after s3 it can't go anywhere it is better to bring it at a new state s4 this is what neeraj you would have finished with the four states no so you should see that it is it if it is possible if it is not possible to go to any previously defined state it is better to make a new state okay so yes ma'am uh, so from s3 it will go to s4 with a zero only now you people have to see very carefully i have told 1001 this is what i am planning to make my partial state graph so you can see 1 0 0 it is done my three bits are done now with my fourth bit it should give output as 1 and it should also it should also go back to initial state this is what it is written na the circuit should reset after every four input so after every four input means three input is done 1 0 0 three input is done now with the fourth input it should go back to initial state it should go back to initial state and if a one comes then my sequence is completed and my output will be one so this is one possibility what i have done is i have taken care of my third case here so i have done 1 0 0 and output becomes 1 so this is done okay now let me see my other possibility my other possibility is 0 1 0 so let us start with this now so 0 1 0 1 is here so can you see that after getting my first zero from s0 to s1 i have already defined how many states five states i have already defined s0 s1 s2 s3 s4 so can you see that after s1 do i have to make a new state or it can go somewhere else also ma'am it can go to s3 ma'am it can go to s3 and it is very good decision to go to s3 because 
the last two bit of both the sequences same. same you need yes, to absor observe this. The last two bit is same. So after this zero, uh, making uh, input x equal to one, if it goes to S three, my job is done complete. So if from S one, if it goes to S three with next one, so what is happening now? You see, zero, one, zero, one. So my both the my both the Uh, sequence are done so my first column of uh, the sequence required and the third column of the sequence required is done in this graph can i stop it here can i stop it mm. here no ma'am no ma'am okay. yeah we cannot stop here we have to see that each state has two outgoing arrows of the possibility of 0 and 1 because if i have four bit of sequence there will be many many possibilities where you will get a non zero output for various cases so two cases i have put here we will do that also but we have to observe now that each output each state should have two output okay so now we will start uh, by checking other possibilities also okay so now uh, let me take uh, which one should i take Zero one double zero. Let me uh, or let us take this one double zero one zero. Okay, let us take this one. This will help us to make the state graph because when you start making a state graph from scratch, you need to take many possibilities. So let us take zero zero one zero. So what will happen? It will start at S not. After S not, it will go to S one with first zero. Next zero, it should go. That means. i should see my s1 other output now can you see that it can go anywhere else is it possible that it goes anywhere else see when you get double zero you see here when you get double zero zero and zero and it is not like yesterday's figure you remember yesterday state graph what we did what did i tell that any point it the new sequence can start but here it should reset at every four bit it should reset at every four bit now what you see when you get first zero and when you get second zero there is no possibility for it to complete the sequence because my both the sequence are 0 1 and 1 0 so this is a, a non zero output path which should find its way to s not back at through another state bit. through another state yes through another state it is not possible and we can put s5 there and then yes. we can keep s5 going again to itself and only the final state when the fourth bit is given can go back to s not okay we will we shall try that so i will have to take it to another state so another state is uh, s th s4 over so i have only s5 so it is going to s5 okay now what you see your zero done another zero done now i have finished by two bits in another two bits it should go back to it should go back to uh, s4 it should go back to s4 now uh, another difficulty is that you should also see that if you get suppose now you imagine you imagine now if it goes from s0 to s1 one bit two bit and then if you want to uh, send it to s4 after this and then it can go here that possibility is there but you should also see if it happens like this how many bit it will be over 1 2 3 and 4 one more possibility is after s5 whether it is 0 or whether it is 1 the sequence is not complete right 0 and 0 after s5 whether 0 comes or whether 1 comes sequence is not complete it should go back to initial state with a zero output only so it is better to bring a new state which can take care of all the 
नॉन जीरो आउटपुट और रॉन्ग सीक्वेंस आउटलेट सो इट इज गुड टू मेक वन स्टेट विच कैन टेक केयर ऑफ गोइंग बैक सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम एस फाइव इफ यू गो टू एस फोर फ्रॉम एस फाइव इफ यू गो टू एस फोर एंड वन अकर्स then what will happen it will go to s not with output saying one as if a uh, sequence has occurred are you able to understand we yes, cannot go back to s not from s4 after this non sequence thing it will give me a wrong output that it is it, a sequence has completed so i need to create a path back to s not with a zero output okay we need to create a path to s not With a zero output, so that it can take care of resetting with all non-sequence or non-zero output cases. So it is important for me to create another state. Another state I need to create, which should be able to go back to S not. Now you also know that already a non-sequence has started from zero, zero, and now whether zero comes or one comes, it is waste only for me. so what we can do is whether a zero comes or whether a one come it should go from s5 to s6 only both the possibility from one arrow only whether zero or one it will go to s6 and after s6 the non sequence thing a non sequence thing should go to s6 and what will happen here now whether a zero comes or whether a one comes my sequence is not complete but i need to reset at fourth bit so what is happening a zero came fine it it was possible from s not to s1 if a zero comes it is possible that it will it can make a sequence if a one comes it is still possible and it made a sequence also but after zero if the sequence is broken i have given all the possibilities to go back to initial state so 0 0 whether it is 0 0 1 0 1 any possibility it is taking care what i will do is i will show you all the possibility what is being taken care here so what you can see on the left hand side a zero comes later again a zero should come okay and after that after that what all possibilities it has taken care it has taken care of a 00 01 10 11 one. can you see it has taken care of all the possibilities so four bit will have 16 possibilities only out of that four possibility problem is solved using this path now we have to see other possibilities also because after a zero and a one still you can break the chain and break the sequence also after one after this one the sequence can be broken after one if another one comes sequence is broken so what should we do from s to where it should go apply your mind from s not it went to s2 sequence started one and if sequence continues it goes from s2 to s3 but if i say a one comes after s2 that means sequence is broken and s5 now yes if you send to s5 what will happen one is here and another one if it comes and if i send it to s5 all the job is done can you see if it goes to s1 from first bit second bit now third and fourth bit can be still taken care so now what is happening after 0 0 sequence break broken i took care now after 1 and 1 sequence broken is also is being taken care now can you see this is a 1 and this is again 1 and after that whether 0001101 come whatever come my sequence is broken it should reset to the initial state with output equal to 0 so i have taken care of this also now now let us go further so you can see s not has two output s1 has two output 
S2 has two output. S5 has two output with the same thing. S6 also has two output with the same arrow. Left is now S3 and S4. We need to complete that also. So now what is happening? S3. After S3, if a zero is coming, sequence is going on very nice. But if one comes, sequence gets broken, right? Sequence get broken. But already two bits are over. Two bits are over. From S3, it should go to such a state after which only one bit is left. S6. S6, ma'am. Correct. If it goes to S6, what will happen? We will send it to S6 first, and then we will see what happens. If it goes to S6, what will happen? First bit, second bit, third bit, S6, it will come. Fourth bit, it will go back. So now what is happening? It is taking care of which all state? It is taking care of 1, 0, 1. And after that, the sequence is breaking. breaking. So 1, 0, after 1 and 0, the sequence is getting broken. So... Uh, uh, 1, 0 and 1. So I have to write another one here. Now 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, my sequence is getting broken. And after that, whether it is a 0 or 1 does not matter. So 1, 0, 1, 0 and 1, 0, double 1 is taken care here. So it will uh, go and reset. Now let me see whether all the input has, uh, all the state has to output or not. Still, you can see that only S4 is left without two outputs, right? Now, what do you think can be done? Tell me. And you also see three bits are already over also. Can you see? Now we can create can another line to going to... Huh? Create another line going to S0 then? No, it can With... go to 0 by 0, same S0. Huh. From S4 to S0, it can go... But you will have to make an, another uh, case where it says that if it is a zero, means last bit sequence broken, it is. Zero so, zero. Ma correct. So it is one, zero, zero, and a zero sequence broken in the last bit. Sequence broken in last bit means zero and zero. And this is true for this case also. Zero, one, zero, and sequence broken in the last bit. So now this sequence, this state graph is complete. I have tried to show with these conditions. I have tried to show you with this condition. You should also see with all, you can make a truth table only. You can make a truth table and you can see whether the state graph is complete in all sense or not. So this is the method of making a state graph. These are the guidelines for construction of state graph. So you can see the procedure of analyzing and making. Okay. This is the procedure of analyzing and making the state graph. So we should see, because it was 4-bit, it was easy for us to check. And generally, the other example also, whatever you are getting, is also in the similar way. Okay. But of course, it is more complicated than this. But I have given you all the knowledge with respect to the guidelines which is required for the state graph. So now, once your state graph is ready, you all know the method of making the state machine. So if in your exam question comes with respect to making a state graph only, you have to analyze like this and you can make. And if they say state machine, then of course, you should make the state graph and then carry on to make the state machine. Okay. Now, we can also check on other samples whatever we had taken. We took 0, 0, 1, 0. So let us see what is happening. 0, 0, 1, 0. Right? Are you seeing my arrow? It is 0, 0, 1, 0. Other sequence, we, what we took was 0, 1, 0, 0. So let us see where it will go. 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay? So this is just an example. You can take any other example and you can verify your state graph. So this is the method of construction of state graph, okay? And I hope you people have understood it carefully.